for the first time in past two months i have abandoned the regular schedule of alternate days bicycling just because of the fact that i decided to buy some protein supplements again and after consuming that for twice i had enough energy to ride my bicycle on subsequent or consecutive days also so i have reached a place near gagar river and broadcasting live after hearing the relaxing sound of this river i decided to have a glimpse of this place and try to find out some recent developments going on in natural water drain has been developed during past few weeks and these mountains are very green due to which water kept on seeping in a precise and definite manner as if these structures are cut but i am always insecure about the construction and illegal deforestation these kind of places are very rare especially close to highly populated cities which are intensely being developed and more and more illegal structures are being allowed so that the process of gaining votes through feel good factors can be continued these kind of silent zones are very essential especially if you are promoting your own company and you are very popular in social networking sites and people are very jealous of you they will keep on contacting you for any services and never compensate you for funds or they will never agree to talk about business terms i parked my bicycle on the other side of this river every place has become more and more crowded after buying the hands free kit a few minutes ago i decided to broadcast as all of the past two videos were not of good audio quality and some of the videos were taken from 2005 folders and 700 mb cds which i had kept reserved and safe in lockers and cd folders but they were not merged till last month youtube is the only platform where we can be confident about the video quality 
some of my videos which were uploaded in Vimeo are distorted enough. I have to cross this river very cautiously. I have not brought my bicycle to avoid any kind of mud and sludge trapped in the wheels. I don't want to make my YouTube channel transformed into current repairs and technical review. That's why I used to occasionally visit nearby mountainous regions so that I will manage to survive the subscriber count but nowadays YouTube has changed many policies people can monetize their channels at 500 subscribers only and they are providing user IDs so easily otherwise long links were provided and many users were not tempted enough but I don't want to utilize that technical transformation for our own financial gain through my web designing clients. I am that kind of person who believe in getting money or fees or charges proportionate to my efforts and time which I devote on the coding and search engine optimization only. I was discouraged by a few HR teams and companies who invite immense number of re routing or job seekers through recruiting agencies which are not properly authenticated as explained in many videos in the past but even then I didn't lost hope and continued my journey as usual because the most important weak point of my personality is that I don't want to get tra trapped in any kind of manipulation of schedule through external sources like human beings who are, who are continuously abusing, abolishing work culture, non-secular clashes or any kind of restrictions and intentional problems even if you will not try to listen my words which I am sure will not be captioned because immense number of breaks I am not providing you excuses for tiredness or radius path I was using Bhargav and Cambridge dictionary from 1986 6th earlier I was using Bhargav dictionary only till 6th class from the day 
I bought Oxford Dictionary. My English started to improve from 1988 or 8th standard. At least communicate with my friends. But many of them were not even aware of basic words. Then I started utilizing Webster's Dictionary for one year. But all of these were very concise. Now, the problem lies in pure number of words and diversity in my pronunciation and broadcast. Due to which I am not popular enough and people don't want to wait for, till the end of the broadcast. I am the only one who watch more than four minutes of my broadcast. All the time I kept keep on saying that it is a broadcast but it is a live video. The voice of the river is very soothing. I will consume some eggs from nearby restaurant. I am also very problematic in numeric round numbers. For example, if I have 2100 10 rupees and uh, my vacations are over and uh, I have to catch the next flight or board any train then I will spend 110 rupees in any magazine or snacks even if I am not feeling hungry just take that figure rounded on that is also my weak point from our early childhood. People might have been able to utilize that also. Image stabilization is not switched on. Due to which if I will move abruptly, there will be a lot of distortion. So I am moving towards that bicycle, in few minutes I will consume two eggs and then return back because from tomorrow onwards I have to visit the web designing client again and shift the Vimeo videos to YouTube because Vimeo is not any authenticated video website if uh, the companies are providing me money for uploading and editing videos I should provide them proper long term benefits through hashtag promotions and safe custody of their assets in the form of digital videos through YouTube only. Earlier I uploaded some of their videos in Vimeo because the owners were not available and I registered that user ID on their behalf but I'm about to abandon that link and simultaneously posting YouTube links in website Four of the videos have been changed and only four are left which I will complete in one or two days because 
Some of the owners don't even use their Wi-Fi. Installed at the premises because that is for CCTV only. They don't want to hinder their security at the sake of Wi-Fi passwords. They think that anyone can steal Wi-Fi password from their mobile and hack their CCTV system and mechanisms. Some of the communication companies are providing separate SIMs. It will take some more years when users uh, will manage to gain a lot of options for their home and office networks and why will I interfere in their decisions in today's world everyone should enjoy and spend own time according to his or her needs intentions motives and most importantly the health should be prime factor. If I am feeling annoyed by anyone's words, abusive comments, I should totally discard them completely. People who are so much abusive even warn others for health problems which they will face after continuing connection with them. So, in last video which I posted about four days ago, so if you will miss one or two videos and listen to that one more carefully you will find a small hint which I had given to my subscribers that one of the web designing client was very abusive that's why I had blocked and discontinued interaction till the day after my Raipurani visit when that person visited my house and I thought that I should give another chance but I was wrong I was again contacted about four days ago and similar behavior patterns and discouragement through many kind of words and feelings were discarded of me and I am not blaming, blaming anyone if, if people are not helpful and not that much concerned about others then the people who had already confessed their troubles to you will continue that behavior on similar or exact persons only on the other hand if I have completely explained my present circumstances to any of my friend or colleague or relative I will not try to repeat that again throughout my life but how can we expect similar behaviors from others when their prime motive or objective is to harm you only